All right, so let's get started making our cabinet counter here. So I'm going to call this uh, cabinet uh, counter video. All right, so just drop down a geometry container there. And I'm going to double click it to jump inside. So what we want to focus on first is developing the kind of base floor plan for this particular prop. So I'm just going to use a line for this one. So we just draw a line and I'm going to set it in the X direction, right? Because I want my cabinet to face forward in Z when I uh, bring it into Unity or Unreal. All right. So with that all set up, let me actually get rid of this previous window here. All right, with that set up, I'm going to drop down a match size node. This will allow me to center it up easily. So I don't have to do any sort of expressions or anything like that. Cool. So now I have control over the, the width of our uh, cabinet counter prop here. And then what I want to do is drop down a sweep node and we're going to utilize the ribbon surface shape. This will basically allow me to define the depth. So I'm just going to put one column there and this then becomes the depth of our prop. Cool. All right. So with that all set up, we pretty much have the base all set up. So I'm just going to call this out base so we can get it and use it in object merge nodes. And uh, I'm also going to drop down another null and we're going to call this controls. I'm going to set up all the controls on this guy first before we go and uh, drag and drop them to the HDA. All right. And then I'm going to hit C on the keyboard, choose a different color and then Z and set a different shape just so I can identify it quickly. All right, so let's get a couple of controls set up here. All right, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and we're going to open up the edit parameter interface for that particular null node. And I'm going to set those default parameters to invisible. And I want to set up two float values. So one is going to be our base uh, width. So I'm just going to call this, or the label is going to be width. And this is going to be called base depth. So the labeled name or the, the actual visual label will be depth. And then I want to put these all in folders. It'll make it real easy to take all the parameters from this uh, null node and uh, promote them up to the HDA. And so for the folder name, I'm going to call this the base folder. We'll just uh, give it a label of base. And I'm just going to set it to a simple for now. I might, I might change it later on. Cool. So with that done, I'm going to hit accept. What I'm going to do here is just split my panel left and right. And then I'm just going to pin it. That way I always have the controls available to me and I can quickly get to the uh, parameter interface to add more uh, parameters to it as we develop our particular uh, setup here. And so now let's go and copy the width. So I'm going to copy that parameter and that goes onto the line. So I'm just going to paste that relative reference like so. Oh, and our defaults need to be set up. So let's go back to our edit parameter interface. And so for the width, I'm going to set this to a default of two meters. So six feet and the depth, let's just start with one meter or three feet. Hit apply and accept. There we go. So now we have control on our um, control node here, uh, which is going to control all of our nodes in our particular graph here. So on the sweep node, uh, let's copy the depth over. So I'm going to copy that parameter and paste it right into the width on our sweep node there. Yeah. I think I might actually do half of that default width there. So let's do 0.5 as a starting point. So these default values um, are going to be the values that are used when you first drop the HDA inside of Unreal. Cool. All right, so we're pretty much all set up and that's the base. And now this is going to form the structure for basically the entire prop. Uh, we can build off of that, you know, one quad there. So let's keep moving forward in the next video.